There are three types of enclosures that hold a whole bunch of hard drives. There's JBOTs, RAID enclosures, and then actual servers. So with processors, memory, RAM, the whole, the whole thing, right? And those can do a bunch of stuff. So let's talk about these three types of enclosures and what the difference are. So we'll start with the most basic of all, JBOT enclosures. JBOD simply stands for just a bunch of disks. Yes, it actually stands for that. And it stands for this because it doesn't do anything. All a JBOD enclosure allows you to do is plug that into a server or a RAID enclosure and add more hard drives to that existing server or RAID enclosure. If you plug the JBOD in to a computer, you would actually see however many hard drives you had plugged into it. So if it had 16 or 24 drives, you would actually see all of those in your disk management utilities. Uh, so a JBOT is the most basic, it's the most simple, uh, it's the least expensive, or at least should be, uh, but it doesn't do anything other than just give you more storage to your existing infrastructure. A RAID enclosure goes one step beyond a JBOD. So a RAID enclosure, you put your hard drives in it, but it has a RAID controller, usually a hardware RAID controller built in in front of the hard drive. So when you connect to a RAID enclosure, you will actually just see that single RAID 5, RAID 6, however you've striped your RAID. There's always some software. These enclosures, a common version that, that you might be familiar with is like a Thunderbolt RAID. So a, uh, as example, a Promise, you know, 8-bay Thunderbolt RAID or a G-RAID, these are RAID enclosures. They've got the hard drive slots, they've got a RAID controller that gives the OS that you're connecting to a single big RAID drive versus the JBOD, which will show you every drive individually. Last but not least, there's probably the most complex, the most intelligent of all, which is, you could call it whatever you want, I'll just call it a server. This is when you have an enclosure. It has a motherboard, processors, RAM, and OS. This is what most of us are all familiar with. This is when you buy a new network storage system, this is what you're getting. Uh, the JBOD is usually what you expand that network storage system in. So uh, be aware of these different types of enclosures, whether you're buying a new system or expanding on an existing infrastructure understand what level of intelligence you're adding because there's benefits, there's upsides and downsides to all of them, of course. You know, it should be the RAID enclosure should be the least expensive up through the uh, server that should be the most powerful. So I hope that's helpful.